started in 1993 with the sole objective of pooling financial resources together for onward lending to members at cheaper rates, Naku Sako continues to achieve this and other objectives through the years. It was an idea which was introduced by my late brother, uh, Bimal Shah, and uh, our ex-HR uh, manager, his name was Felix Kikwai. It was something that they had thought about how our team, how our staff and how our family members would have a way of saving for the future and a way, way, have a way of how they would make up lives which will be of benefit to them. And that's how the SACO was born. I've been with NACO SACO for more than 20 and above years. I've been with NACO SACO for 21 years since it started in 1993. Mm, I joined uh, NACO SACO in uh, 2006, uh, November. And since then, up to date, I've been a member in the SACO. I am a member of Naku SACO. I have been for a couple of years. I'm a member number 31. We started it in 1993. We have grown in membership, deposits, and loan uptake by drawing members from other retail outlets. Uh, it drew its members from all the supermarkets, uh, the retail sector that is entailing the supermarkets, close to 25 supermarkets. Well, that's where we draw our membership from. We decided that uh, our workers in both supermarkets can form a circle that uh, will take care of, uh, of their needs. Uh, the circle had a membership number of 5,000. Later on, we started co-opting other institutions like Islam mattresses. Then we came to Tuskies. We got uh, Ulmat, by then it was there, so we co-opted so many institutions, they joined us. We are proud because, one, it has helped so many members, uh, and it is not only within Nakumat. It covered a wide area. When we started, uh, it was just within Nakumat only. Then we joined in, in these other supermarkets like Tuskies, by that time, if there was a supermarket a group, a chain of uh, retailers known as Naivas. Uh, by that time, it was known as Naivasha Mattresses. Then it came in, there was another one known as Country Mattresses. There was City Mattresses. So, Silly Honey, uh, so many of them. And up right now, it is still expanding and getting members from a wide area. It is this growth that has seen the SACO awarded as the most improved SACO in the year 2014. If you look at uh, uh, Shopa SACO, formerly Naku SACO, uh, we can say that it is one of the few billionaire SACOs that we have in the country, uh, slightly with assets of 2 billion Kenya shillings. And uh, if you look at the membership, also is quite high. So the total deposits for all the, the members was uh, 772,000. And uh, uh, as at uh, 31st December 2015, we closed at uh, 1.4 billion. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, the revenue, we were at 80 million. Uh, we closed the figure uh, at over 250 million as at uh, 2015. We are, we are thinking that at the end of this month, at the end of this year, we shall be able to uh, have the figures even more than uh, 300 million for the income from interest. I joined the circle because with your salary only there is nothing you can do. You have to join hands with other people so that at least you can get something to do something better. We have inculcated a saving culture, offered the proper financial empowerment and investment opportunities to all our members with our wide range of products. The circle has got uh, short-term products uh, which are also offered uh, through the force and the back office. Uh, in the back office, we have uh, the emergency loan, which is quite common. It's a product that uh, members are able to apply on daily basis and reach on daily basis. Uh, the interest rate is 12% uh, per annum on reducing balance, and the repayment period is one year. The other one is school fees loan. School fees loan uh, is uh, given to those members who apply for school fees. Uh, they usually uh, save some deposits for school fees where we are able to multiply two times. The interest rate is still 12% uh, per annum and on reducing balance. We also have uh, products that uh, uh, booster loan. Booster loan is um, especially for those members who have been able to get an emergency 
but uh, they had already applied for an emergency loan, but uh, want to be financed by the circle. So we give them a short-term product called Booster, which takes uh, three months repayment period, and uh, the interest rate is also on reducing balance. I needed to get something like a matatu, but since the money that was wanted by that time wasn't enough for me, so I waited until I got the amount that they needed, is when I took the loan, then I went for a matatu, and at this time I have a matatu, KCH 886B, a 33-seater. If it were not for the circle, I couldn't have managed. I have managed because of the circle. I'm proud because the way I am today, I really shine because of this society. What I've done, none of our society can do to me. But Naku Sako, I'm proud of it. And Naku Sako live long for me and for the others to come because it has done so much to me in terms of investment, in terms of education for my two daughters. When they uh, said that they had a land, a parcel of land, and uh, that was the first priority, of course, was the members. And of course, the price was very attractive. We have actually put up greenhouses. So we're doing a very small scale farming. We grow tomatoes, potatoes, whatever is in, in the season. The loans that I've got from the circle, like the last loan I got, it was for eight million. The, the one I'm servicing right now, that's one that have helped me to start my business. And I did some uh, developments. I've uh, constructed my house at a rural home. Uh, before that, I managed also to get a loan that helped me to buy a land. Uh, <laughs> but to start with, when we started, my first loan was of 20,000. That was back in 1995. And when I got the 20,000, that time it was a lot of money. I managed to go home and uh, I built a house for my parents. I demolished the one that they were having and then constructed a new house for them. They were also even shocked. They wanted where I got the money, and I told them it is a circle. Circle has helped me a lot in terms of when as an individual, it has given uh, one the power of saving. Circle also has helped me uh, in terms of programming my my projects because uh, what I save is what I get uh, by the end of the day while well, I need uh, financial assistance. So it depends with the amount of money I've saved is the amount of loan I'll get by the end of the day. We are a regional circle that draws its membership in the entire East African region, partnering with major retail outlets such as Nakumat and Tuskies and also have impeccable customer service. Because of the service I'm getting there, gives money, borrowing, I'm getting money on time. Uh, I have this interest, they're giving me at a low interest and I'm very much happy. In response to the market dynamics, there has been a need to widen the membership and re-energize the brand. It is as a result of this success that has given the need to rebrand from Naku Sako to Shopper's Sako. Basically why organizations rebrand, uh, you very well know that uh, institutions for a very long time in this country have been employing conventional means and ways of, of doing business. And you see, for you to make it uh, apparently the situation, economic status as it is in this country, you have to be a disruptor. So we are disrupting the status quo. The, the, the status quo. We are moving from conventional ways of doing business simply because we want uh, also to open the boundaries. As I said initially, it was a concept that uh, was confined within the retail industry. But apparently for us to move and capture the wider catchment area, we need to rebrand so that that element of inclusivity from the general public, members of uh, the public who may be willing to join us and do business, may, will also feel accommodated, accommodated with. Uh, shoppers, we would like to encourage them and congratulate them for thinking about rebranding. What's all this about rebranding? The sector is very dynamic. The financial sector changes every time. The playground, the competition is also very dynamic. So if you are not going to product to give a product that is seen to be new every day, then you are not going to be in business. I think the bottom line is 
the member must see your products as if they were they came yesterday, so to speak. So the branding is intended to make to for an organization to have a different approach on how they serve their members in terms of product and services. How is the public going to perceive you out there? Are you going to be the same, same package since independent? So the essence of branding is to make the products the product itself and product delivery look new every other day. The Shopper Sako has chosen to do rebranding. And so the first thing we want to do is really to uh, congratulate the, the board, the management and the staff of Shopper Sako for their intention and decision, not intention, decision to actually rebrand. Um, there are many benefits that are obtained from rebranding. Uh, first of all, you operate in a market. And the dynamics of the market are always changing. And so by rebranding, uh, Shopper Sako is able to respond or is responding to the dynamics of the market, which is evolving and changing all the time. They have rebranded it from Naku Sako to Shopper Sako, where they want to want to engage more employees and more members, they want more members, they want more people to benefit out of the good things that the SACO is doing, very well managed I would say. Of course every business or every management has its own little issues which come and go, but the management today I would proudly say that they are doing very well. Everybody is happy with whatever achievements that they've achieved. Shoppa SACO involves everyone, since everyone is ideally a shopper an organized SACO that has great plans for the future and commits to deal with the challenges we have been facing and move our SACO to the next level. Naku SACO, as uh, we have known it all through, it has really helped me. The first loan I took was 100,000, which I said uh, I started with buying the plot in Nakuru. Later, I took a loan of 300,000, which I started developing uh, my first house. We need as a SACO to grow in terms of deposits and that can only happen if we have rebranded and the people have got the idea and have joined in mass so that uh, uh, we grow in terms of asset base and even share deposits. We are proud, we are welcoming everybody to come and join uh, Shoppers SACO which is now becoming a national wide and we are inviting everybody from any corners from any type of businesses. Those who are employed in civil or anywhere, they are invited to the, so, to the shopper's circle. Coming to this workshop, I took a loan of 1.5 million to buy the, the equipment here. And uh, there, there are several things, and, and the startup capital for material and all that to set up. So the 1.5 million, is, is the one which I started up this workshop yeah, since I left employment last year. Uh, in the circle subsector, we have, a, we have a, about 171 uh, circles in the circle subsector. This is one of the most critical and the most important uh, cooperatives in the entire cooperative sector because, uh, especially the financial circles, uh, because these are the cooperatives that come under the ambit of the SACO Society's Regulatory Authority, SASRA. And they are regulated in accordance with the provisions of the SACO Society's uh, Act. Um, there are 171 of them. Um, they have membership in excess of 6 million. They have assets in excess of 800 uh, billion. And they have mobilized savings in excess of 600 billion Kenya shillings. We are universal and identify with you as a shopper. Welcome and be a part of us as we venture into this amazing journey of prosperity. Welcome to Shopper Sako Prosperity Every Day. 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 Shopper Sako,